Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about a simple 10 minutes morning routine that can make your life more productive. Before we start, I'd like to have a disclaimer. You don't need to be a morning person to have a morning routine. And you don't need to be up at 5 a.m. or even 4 a.m. to have a morning routine. I am definitely not a morning person. What I do is to spend the first 10 minutes of my morning doing this simple routine. Or sometimes, if I'm in a rush, I'll get up 10 minutes earlier so that I can do this morning routine. This video will be split into two parts. First, I'll talk about why you should have a morning routine and the five benefits you get from this very simple morning routine. Then, I'll move on to talk about the three simple steps of this morning routine. So, let's start with the benefits of this morning routine. First, you will become more productive. Your morning sets the tone for the rest of your day. If you have a productive morning, if you're very clear about what you need to achieve that day, you're much more likely to accomplish the task you set out to do. Number two, you will be less anxious. A lot of students tell me that they're always anxious. That could be one simple reason why you're so anxious all the time or find it difficult to relax. You only need to fix this one small thing in the morning and it will make all the difference. Number three, your day will become a lot more intentional. Before I have a morning routine, I used to feel like life kind of just happens and time flies. I don't know whether you have ever had this kind of feeling before, but one moment is the new year, then somehow it's March already and you still haven't started on the new year's resolution. Or maybe I've already given up on them. And then it's June. And before I know it, it's already Christmas. But after I practiced this morning routine, my life became really different. It became a lot more intentional. Every day, I feel like I'm moving closer to my goals. And this brings me to point number four. You are more likely to achieve your goals. Achieving your goals doesn't always depend on you working crazy hours or staying up late to work. Sometimes, it just requires you to change your habits or make a simple 10 minutes change to your daily life. People often overestimate how much they can achieve within a day and underestimate what they can achieve in a month. So if you want to achieve your goals, you need a good system where you could work towards your goal every day. And if you simply remind yourself what you want to achieve every morning, you're much more likely to get there. Last and most importantly, it will make you happier, which I will explain a bit more later. Let's dive in now and find out what this simple 10 minutes morning routine can make such a big difference in our lives. There are only three steps you need to follow. Step number one, stay away from your phone in the morning. A lot of you probably sleep next to your phone or even check it multiple times at night, which is a terrible habit. Do you know that this is really bad for you and it can heavily impact your quality of sleep? If you always wake up feeling tired, this could be why. Not only that, a lot of people like to check their phones first thing in the morning. This is super unhealthy. It will make you more anxious because you'll be going from sleeping to a super alert state suddenly. And that will put your body in a fight or flight mode the whole day, making you feel much more anxious. Not only that, it will make your day seem very dull and boring because it will give you a huge dopamine kick in the morning. So if you want to feel happy or excited later, you will need much more stimulation than normal. Also, using your phone in the morning will put you in a responsive or reactive mode. It is your life and you're supposed to be in charge of how you feel and what you do. But by checking your phone in the morning, you're giving away that power. You're allowing your feelings and your days to be shaped by all the notifications, the news, your Instagram updates, and your messages. You are no longer in charge of your life. No wonder that will make you feel more anxious since your feelings are controlled by what's happening around you. You want to take back that control by dictating how you want to feel that day before reaching for your phone. Step two, in the first five minutes, you should wash up and brush your teeth. I hope this is something you already do. After that, you should do some light stretches that would help improve your posture, reduce headache, neck pain, and back pain. Step number three. In the next five minutes of this simple 10 minutes routine, you should sit down, get a pen, 
and paper or journal if you have one and write down three things that you're grateful for. You should always reflect on things that you're grateful for. Scientific studies have shown that gratitude practice can improve both mental and physical health. It can lower your stress level, help you sleep better, and improve your relationships with other people. It can also decrease materialism and bolsters generosity, especially among teenagers. Famous people like Emma Watson, Zendaya, and Tim Ferriss all have their own gratitude journals. I sometimes have students telling me that they can't write three things that they're grateful for. There just isn't that much to write about. Well, that always makes me a bit worried. If you're watching this video right now, you're probably already one of the luckiest people in the world. Even if you find it difficult to be grateful for things you already have, please remember that gratitude is something that you can practice. The more you do it, the easier it gets. So let me share the three things I'm grateful for today. First, I'm grateful that I had a good night's sleep. I had a really good sleep last night. Secondly, having an amazing dinner last night. My friend came over and cooked me dinner. Number three, I had a really good chat with my mom yesterday. Comment below and let me know what you're grateful for. And like and subscribe to this channel. That would be something that I'm really grateful for. After that, you want to write down three things that you're excited about. Previously, I used to write down all the things that I should finish, my to-do list, and obviously, that leaves me very stressed out every morning. So I changed my perspective. And now I write down things that I'm excited about. This makes things really different. I have to admit that it was difficult at first to find things that I'm excited to do. But that's quite sad, isn't it? So that I wanted to change that. And after a while, it's easy for me to think of things that I'm excited to do. I also see life very differently by planning things that I look forward to. One of the things that I'm very excited about today was drafting and filming this video, which I hope that you're all enjoying. The other thing that I'm excited about is to try the Korean plum tea that I bought yesterday. The last thing to do is to write down one key thing you must finish today. You should prioritize doing this above anything else. So let's summarize. The simple 10 minutes morning routine is spending the first five minutes washing up, brushing your teeth, and stretching. For the next five minutes, write down three things that you're grateful for, three things that you're excited about, and one key thing you want to achieve today. Doing this would make you more productive, less anxious, will make your life more intentional, you're more likely to achieve your goals, and you will be happier. Bonus tip, if you have five more minutes in the morning, do a five minutes meditation. It would really calm you down and improve your memory and cognitive ability. Start the timeless morning routine tomorrow. Let me know the changes you have seen. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. See you next week.